O vídeo tem cerca de 20 minutos e nele pode ver-se João Cabral, ex-funcionário da Semida de Pedro, sentado, Charles Smith ainda de pé e Alan Perkins do lado direito da imagem, que posicionou a câmara oculta de forma a nunca ser identificado. Foi ele que filmou esta reunião no Freeport Alcochete sem o conhecimento de Charles Smith e João Cabral. Nesta altura, em março de 2006, Perkins já sabia que a polícia inglesa estava a investigar o caso Freeport e por isso veio a Lisboa tentar perceber saídas de dinheiro por explicar na contabilidade da empresa. Um ano antes, a polícia judiciária já tinha feito as primeiras buscas. And the police arrived on that 7 of February. They went to Freeport's offices. They came here. Yes. S simultaneously, with about 25 policemen involved in it. <laughs> and so they, they came at 9 o'clock. Was 9 o'clock? I was here. They came to this office. Simultaneously, simultaneously, they were in the council. Simultaneously, in our office, and another two of Manuel Pedro's. There was an operation, and they, they came in and they had a, uh, they had a search warrant. And they took the council's papers and they took papers from it. Took everybody's papers. And they took your papers. Took ours, computers, the lot. A conversa continuava. Aos seis minutos de reunião, Charles Smith refere-se ao atual primeiro-ministro como corrupto. But the complaint was that there had been corruption. I mean, had, uh, does this I go back to the other conversation that we've had before about... Is, the, yeah, the, the, the first minister, the, the minister of environment is corrupt. So when this place was being built, yeah. what was his position? No, uh, mm -hmm. I explained this to you, in 2000, in 2002, the government, in this chap Socrates, at the end of, in February 2000, March 2002, he, he was with the government, with the, what they call the Labour government, right? He, he was a minister mm -hmm. for the environment. And he's the guy that approved this project. He lost, he approved it, I think, in the last week of his mandate, the four years, the, 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 the last, literally in the last, it was, it was suspicious in the first place they approved in the last day of his, and it wasn't, it wasn't for money at this point, you understand, this was just to be stupid. Um, he, they, they, the, the Labour lost the election, and the Conservatives came in for four years. They came back in again, la the Labour came in last year, and the same chap, instead of being a minister, he's now the Prime Minister of Portugal. Como se pode ver, Charles Smith referiu-se mesmo a José Sócrates como corrupto. Recorde-se que Smith, num comunicado enviado aos jornalistas, já depois da TV ter divulgado o som original, ainda sem imagem, disse nunca se ter referido ao primeiro-ministro de forma injuriosa. Pelos vistos, fê-lo e disse muito mais. They, made, they were made afterwards. They were, they were, they were made afterwards. He, he asked. He asked for. Mo he asked for money at some point, but he was. He was not. The police are probably looking for somebody that said, "See, corruption is normally. I'll give you money if you approve it." That never happened. Right. No, no, no. It was approved. Okay. It was approved, and then the payments were made afterwards. There was, there, there was there an agreement in Germany. Mm -hmm. There is an agreement between Chen and the, the men from, mm -hmm. from soccer change. I think it's January of uh, yeah. Yeah. Sean, Sean, met the Sean, met, Sean, Sean met the, the man's agents and things, you understand? Sean and Gary met them. Right. And, and, um, and so there was an agreement to... To pay, my, let's call it contribution to the political party, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, and it went, only went as far as that figure that's in here. That, 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 a conversa era detalhada e assim prosseguia quando confrontado com os valores envolvidos.
if you read that contract, it says that we would get well, tranches of 50, 50, and 50, and so forth. Okay, so we got three of them, but it says in clause, and we, at the time, I said to Gary, you can, the idea of, we had never done this, I know what it was all about. So he, he, he said, well, we'll send them into your account, your company. You, you, you. So you invoiced for professional services yeah. and the money came into your account? It came in, it was straight out again. And how did you get it out? And you did it in cash. In cash? In cash. Oh, this is all in cash transaction. Over two years, right? You've got to understand. I, 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 I not, not that stupid. <laughs> I was stupid, I've even done this, but I was, I was clever enough to do it in small bits and pieces, like 3,000 euros, 4,000 euros, because um, that's why it took two years to pay that. And then it what was it? So we have just little brown envelopes to. Well, who, 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 I mean, presumably the minister's got, you know. No, he had, he, he had agents. He, 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 he himself is not involved in that. Hmm? The cousin. Yeah. He's a cousin. Yeah. And fun. you had to just meet them somewhere. And yeah. But Gary and John met them initially in a hotel in Lisbon and discussed it. And, and it, they wanted a million. <laughs> they wanted a million. Well, I, well, I, I don't know what to say other than that. Anyway, I, I can understand Freeport's just now want to distance themselves from it. This letter effectively said, Pub, it's your problem, it's nothing to do with us. I understand that. And I can, I understand that as well. But he could at least have said, Charles, we'll have to do this, but don't worry. <laughs> so 150,000 went through your account, you paid that out, yep. and you've now been left with the tax bill, exactly. because that's been treated as if it was profit. Yep. With, so you've had invoices going out, but you've not, yeah. you've not had invoices coming which in. Why, which is why in this summary sheet yes. that we spoke about, I said tax related to the first three payments, that that's, yes. that, that's that figure in euros. Yes. We had to pay that tax. Yes. And we had, it goes straight to my personal income tax. Yes. Because it comes out, it shows us. So there was corporation tax and personal, personal tax. tax. Yeah. And that's all I wanted. And then there were some expenses. Yes. Because of the late some of invoices. And all I was looking for really was, um, was that. But if they, I can also understand that if they paid that money as, as, as straight, as openly as that, it's not, it wasn't a good, it, it, you're involved in it, you understand? Alan Perkins queria saber tudo. Insiste no nome de José Sócrates. And that was this guy, and this was Socrates, was it? Uh, no, he wasn't, he's personally involved in it. He, he was initially there. Is he the minister? He, he's now the prime minister. He's now the prime minister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but he was behind wanting. He, and he was in, what was his position at the time? He said he was the minister of Inter environment. Minister of environment. And this was this this whole project fell under his. Right, because that was a position in Lisbon, not in Alcachete. It was a main government not position. Main government, yeah. And then his party went out of power, and then they came back in again later. Yeah. And he's now come back as the prime minister. Yeah. And people, there was always a, there was always a smell, uh, not a smell, but there was always a story. Everyone said, how did he, how did people get an approval in such a protected area? Yes. Somebody must have paid somebody. I mean, that's really what happened. <laughs> so he got the money, but he got it via the cousin. Or yeah, yeah. These payments were made when? I mean, several years ago. No, they were made in two, th two no. Yeah, let me show you the timetable here. 2002 was, was, um, was it March 2002? It was approved. It, the project was approved. Right. But then the government, the government lost, and you got a new government. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes, comes in until 2005. The right. Last, there are elections. Okay. So when were the payments made to? They were made through 2002 and 2003. So why was it necessary to make these payments once the guy was out of office? Was it simply because there had been an agreement? Or yeah, there had been an agreement. So when was the approval for the scheme given? Was that while the minister was still in power? You say that happened just before? Yes. So the minister gave the approval, there was some kind of agreement that had been reached over payments, and the payments were then subsequently made even though he was out of power. Nesta altura, Charles Smith pede novamente ajuda a João Cabral para que nenhum pormenor fosse esquecido. But the man that are in the in the in the inspection of the environment is is personal secretary in the government. Do you understand? No, say again. The connections. The man that are in the inspection of the environment yes. is a, a very important department. Is 
it was his personal secretary in the government when he was a minister of environment. Do you understand? Yeah. What did the he had a big, a big connections, Socrates. Mm -hmm. It's why everybody is afraid. They don't pay. Right. It's better if paying. Oh, well. Ciente de que a gravação vale como prova em Inglaterra, Alan Perkins repete várias vezes as mesmas perguntas, forçando Charles Smith a falar cada vez mais. O escocês acaba mesmo por citar diretamente José Sócrates como estando na origem do negócio. Yeah, yeah. And John, John and Gary in, in, in Lisbon. I, I like talking and hearing yeah. about it, that's all. Um, I'd, rather, I'd rather just walk outside. Would you do that? It's paranoia. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. The payment, it was ridiculous. It was a ridiculous situation. It, it was paid out. It was, 